Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, no matter where you are in the world, we bid you hello. And um, I'll, my name is Maria Hopwood. I live in Sydney, Australia. And just want to say thank you so much for coming on board. And Dr. Samuelson, Stevie, Sarah, Seb and Jessica, they're also there, all those guys that I can see, lots and lots. We've got over 200 people coming and still more coming, which is very exciting. Now, to keep this very, very interesting, what we're going to do, we do have some guests. We are going to actually let, uh, introduce them as we go during the, um, the webinar. Now, Dr. Samuelson, we're changing the format a little bit. So Dr. Samuelson and his guests will endeavor to answer most of the common questions that we all get asked about ASEA and Renew28. So please note, the lines will not be open for questions at the end of the webinar. With this in mind, if you have any questions that you feel have not been answered, please can I suggest you go back to, to your upline for uh, information they can guide you where to go to and, um, and perhaps you can actually um, even send an email to your upline and um, we can sort of get you sorted that way. As the other company, as well as your back office, if you are an associate, has a number of corporate websites where you can actually find uh, information very detailed about ASEA products, the research, the science, and of course, the opportunity. To further assist you in your quest, to answer any information or any questions you might still um, have and not being answered, I will be placing in the chat box a list of uh, corporate websites for you to research and to perhaps find what you're looking for. In any case, you'll have got the support of all your upline and of course, ASEA corporate as well. So, to start the webinar, I'd just like to also state that ASEA and Renew are not intended to diagnose, treat or cure, prevent any disease or medical condition. So welcome, welcome to this webinar. So let's get started. It is indeed, once again, a privilege to welcome Dr. Gary Samuelson to this webinar to share his knowledge on how to utilize and get the most out of the redox molecules which are found exclusively in a CR cell redox supplement, Renew28, and the intensive, intensive redox serum for maximum results. Dr. Samuelson has a, medical, um, has a PhD in medical atomic physics from the University of Utah and has dedicated his career and knowledge to the advancement of technology that addresses major problems of health today. His focus is on the science of redox science, Again, his focus is on the science of redox signaling technology that is now developing around the world. Dr. Samuelson is the one and only scientist that was able to do what the scientific world deemed impossible, to stabilize redox signaling molecules outside our body for our benefit. Thanks to Dr. Samuelson, NSEA, humanity, of which we're all part of, this is very important, now have trillions and trillions of these amazing molecules to stabilize in a bottle, in a gel form, and in a serum to protect, repair, and replace our cells. Dr. Samuelson, welcome. It's oh, thank you. you. Thank you, Maria. It's, a, it's really a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having a, me on. Indeed, a pleasure. Now, I've got a quote here from Napoleon Hill, which I'd like to start the webinar with. It is virtually impossible to conceal the truth forever. It is the natural order of things that the truth will eventually come out, Napoleon Hill. Now, now that the latest genetic result shows that redox signaling molecules turns genes on in our body, for those that don't know out there, what are redox signaling molecules? Why is this research important? And how do they work, Dr. Samuelson? Oh, well, that's, uh, that is a, probably the basic question. I know the one that uh, they have worked on is that, of course, they're signaling molecules. And, um, and the signaling molecules are the, produced in the mitochondria in every single one of our cells. And they have a special um, role. And the role is to be able to pass signals uh, between the cells and inside the cells to all of the trillions of molecules that are doing the um, work of making us live. And so uh, I, we can say uh, that the redox signaling molecules are the, what is in the supplement, redox signaling supplement here are, are basically signaling molecules, are redox signaling molecules. 
um, that are probably the most fundamental or the most, most fundamental signaling molecules that we have in the body. So, so, so do they, how do they actually help, uh, work like for somebody, a lay person who's not familiar with this particular biotechnology? Yes, um, thank you. If we were to, let's say, shrink ourselves down and go inside of our body, so shrink ourselves down to, let's say, the diameter of a hair and uh, work our way inside the body, we would see that our body is made out of trillions of cells. We have 50 to 70 trillion cells in our body. And these cells are put together into tissues and organized um, into communities. These communities of cells then, uh, just like uh, our communities, have houses, or, or like houses on a street. Our blood vessels run through these communities, and um, uh, I'm sorry, they are able to deliver to our cells the types of materials and supplies that are needed in order for the cell to live. Well, inside every single cell is a, is a cell phone. Um, these cell phones are very important. Uh, we'll be talking about genetic, um, a, a little bit about genetic operations inside a cell. But genetic operations are like the applications on the cell phone. Uh, when you want to have the cell do something, you push the application and the genes then are expressed in order to be able to make the cell do so. It also has a communication feature, so you can push the dial button and you can dial the other cells in the community. If you imagine how important a communication is to a community, absolutely essential. Now, if you're coordinating trillions of cells, think about that. That's more houses than we would have if every woman chi and child and man in, in the whole world built 10,000 houses. Wow. And they all needed to communicate and coordinate their their um, activities. So um, in, inside these cells, we uh, have these signaling molecules. It's like, sort of like the bars on our cell phone. They allow it this to communicate. Now suppose there is a problem, maybe a fire in the house or something like that. We need to communicate that problem. Cells have that all the time. A small paper cut, for example, it devastates millions and millions of cells and damages them. They need to be repaired. They need these cell phones. They communicate then using these uh, cell phones through these re redox signaling molecules. Now, remember that your body also, inside the cells, is composed of cell water. And the reduction in oxidation, that's what redox is, of this salt water is important. Uh, in order to be able to change the chemical state in every single biochemical reaction that happens inside your body. That's why what we call redox, a redox reaction, the reduction in oxidation of these uh, tiny salt water molecules form these redox signaling molecules known as reactive oxygen species. And these are the ones that run around and uh, help to carry these signals. So if a cell gets um, damaged, It'll send signals out, I help, I'm damaged. Then these will push the genetic buttons that activate the immune system um, and other mechanisms that will help the cell to regain its, its uh, or repair itself or regain uh, its correct environment. If it can't do that, then the cell will die, very important, and be replaced by neighboring cells. This is the science and of healing on a cellular level. This is what we would see in this community of cells happening all around us all the time. The regeneration of uh, new cells or the repair and replacement of cells uh, coordinated, of course, by the communication network. So um, ASEA helps to supplement those signaling molecules that are so fundamental in our communication systems between cells. Wow, that, that's, um, that's a very clear explanation. Thank you so much, Dr. Um, Samuelson. The other thing I, he I heard as well is that, you know, I get asked a lot of questions is, um, does a CIA contain chlorine? Does it have salt? And what sort of salt is it and how much? Can you, can you perhaps clarify that? Yeah, a CIA does uh, contain uh, components that come from salt, and that's sodium chloride salt, that's table salt, the same stuff that we eat, and water. 
Um, however, it does not contain molecular chlorine, you know, the kind of stuff you'd see in a pool or uh, et, et cetera. And in fact, if you've been in a pool, it irritates your eyes. A sea, it does not irritate your eyes. It's perfectly natural. It has forms of chlorine called hypochlorites that are combined with other um, molecular structures that make them in their natural form. So this, this type of chlorine, uh, I guess, or, or chloride, hypochlorites then, does exist in a sea, but it's absolutely non-irritating and absolutely natural, mm. and the same that is produced inside of our cells. Thank you. Um, oh, well, as far as how much salt is in a sea, very little. <laughs> um, if you were to take the salt in two medium-sized carrots, that's about the salt that's in a sea. So uh, if you can replace two carrots in your diet, uh, if you have a salt-restricted diet, yeah, you can take a sea. That's a really good point. Thank you for that. Um, so I guess the other question, now that we know that it's okay to take a sear and there's a, the salt um, quantities in a sear is very minimal, why is it important to start using the sear redox products? Are they addictive? And what happens when you stop taking or using um, the sear redox products? Yeah, you know, sear, the reactive oxygen species, the molecular components in, inside a sear, um, they are produced naturally by the body in the process of the metabolism. There's, there's absolutely no addiction uh, or, or no intolerance to these molecules. Uh, they're produced as part of the metabolism. And actually, when you take a C, it actually helps speed up the metabolism, possibly making even more redox signaling molecules inside you. So there's, there isn't that negative effect. Um, we, what we will see is that the communication processes and the cell regeneration processes speed up while you're taking a SIA. When you stop taking a SIA, it simply then just goes back to normal levels. Um, there's, there's no, uh, it's not like a hormone, for example, where the, the body stops producing the hormones. The body will never stop producing redox signaling molecules when you supplement them. So it goes back to the chronological age of the cell? Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, the, I mean, the cells are all, always replacing themselves. So, you know, the chronological age is an is interesting thing. Um, the cells in our intestines, for example, are replacing themselves continually. Almost every seven days, you have a completely new set of intestines. All of the cells have uh, turned over. Right. So, uh, you know, um, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure how to, how to answer that, but um, it will help the cellular turnover to be more efficient. Okay, thank you. So, understanding that my body creates redox signaling molecules naturally, why do I need to supplement with a CR or apply Renew28? Uh, well, Renew28 is a very effective way to get the absorption through the skin from the outside in. Right. And the SIA, the liquid, of course, is a good way to get the SIA internally into our system. It's absorbed very, very quickly through what we believe the water absorption channels are inside our body. So when you drink water, it's absorbed in about oh, maybe a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. The SIA the um, liquid is about the same. Um, however, if you want more localized um, action for a SIA, where it contacts the body, it works. Um, and your body is kind of like a sponge. So if you apply the, the Renew28, let's say, to your facial area or such, it'll absorb into the facial area and create the, this um, repair and replacement of damaged tissue in the face. Wow. If, if you hold it in your mouth, it'll recirculate through your head. If you put it on the back of your neck also, the Renew28, uh, that is, it, it will also help recirculate um, um, the molecules through the, the head region. Um, you can actually breathe it in. You know, you can spray it into your mouth, breathe it into your lungs. There's no damage or problem doing so. Right. If, you, if you want to get it down into the lungs, uh, you can drink it. You can put it on any of the tissues inside or outside your body, and it has the same effect. Right. So, but if I make them naturally in my body, why do I need to supplement with more redox signal? Uh, I mean, that was a really great question. Um, you know, uh, before 
uh, CIA came along or we understood how to stabilize redox signaling molecules, the only way that you could get them were, were by your natural production. However, as you age, or if you have oxidative stress, the natural production of the, these redox signaling molecules diminishes. The mitochondria also become less efficient over time. We see that. Uh, the simple fact of aging is gradual damage that is accumulating over time that the body is not repairing, uh, you know, efficiently. If, if it were so, then we would have young natural cells all the time. Now, now the idea is, well, if, if we were to um, take and supplement that to the same uh, degree that we had when we were 10 years old, let's say, so that uh, we were able to increase the efficiency of this repair, replace a healing mechanism uh, inside our body. Imagine, imagine what the effect could be. So when, when I first uh, saw that we could stabilize the redox signaling molecules and, and understood what their effect is, it was for me, um, it's one of the greatest and most important things that could be, could be done. And I took years out of my life to be able to educate people on this science uh, because for the first time we were able to replace and replenish this, these signaling molecules that help the body to repair itself and that was not possible before well wow. dr samuelson that's that's been an amazing thing i'm sure as we progress today in this webinar we'll understand a little bit more about it um, so now to actually add a little bit of an interesting um, part of the program i would like to introduce Sepp and Jessica from Queensland, Australia. Sepp, Sepp and Jessica, we can just unmute them, please. Lovely. Hi, Maria. Hi, Maria. Hello, Hi, welcome. Hi, uh, Gary. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. So just a little bit about Sepp and Jessica. They are ASEA Diamond Executives. They live in Noosa, beautiful Noosa, and work their business from their island home. Totally idyllic. Their passion is making a difference in people's lives and having a work-life balance that gives them joy and purpose. They live and breathe ASEA ethos, which is in alignment with who they are. Seb and Jessica have a clear vision for the future of ASEA and their team, which is to build a sustainable global business in, <clears throat> excuse me, in, in their team, to build, to build people, empower, empowering them to become their authentic self and enabling them to share ASEA with the world. Welcome, Seb and Jessica. I truly appreciate you so much for, um, for being here with us. Um, I'd just like to hand it over to you. I believe you've got some questions for Dr. Samuelson. Beautiful. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Maria. And uh, we're very grateful, Dr. Gary Samuelson, to, um, to be able to be here with you and, and, and ask you some questions. So there's um, a lot of people joining ASEA and using ASEA Renew 28 and now ASEA Via Source um, every day. And a lot of, um, there's a lot of people that appear to believe that they can expect a detox effect when they first start on ASEA. And that is really what my question is, is um, on behalf of them as well, a lot of people seem to be starting out with a very, very small dose because they are, I suppose, fearful of a detox effect. A small dose being sometimes 10 mil or 15 mil, and they may be quite, they may be healthy, but there is this, this belief or this understanding that there is automatically going to be a detox. What is your opinion on that? What, how do you see that? Well, first of all, that's not true for all people. In fact, that's true. In my experience, it's actually very few that actually have a, a significant detox effect um, that happens in their body. However, the ones that do have a detox, actually, it's a good sign because uh, it shows that the body is repairing and replacing uh, the damaged cells. When you built that beautiful house of yours, uh, did you... Uh, did you have a point where it looked worse than it looked uh, better before it looked uh, better, uh, you know, in your remodeling? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and that's the same thing. If we're inside of our cells, we're watching the cells rebuild uh, these cells, millions of them all the time. 
And uh, part of the repair and replacement process of the cells is to throw out garbage. They throw out garbage into the street and they throw it out into our blood. Uh, glutathione peroxidase is a molecule, for example, that's capable of, of transporting the garbage from the inside of the cell, outside the cell. ASEA helps to enhance this, this action. And so while, while our cells are in this reconstruction um, phase, we, you can imagine that you are getting a little bit of, uh, of, of um, toxicity in, inside your system, just the garbage. So, um, you know, either inside or outside the cells, if there is areas where there's a lot of toxicity or that you've had a exposure to, to toxic elements, the body will start to throw those out. Um, drinking a lot of water in almost all cases is the, is the key. If your kidneys are functioning, if your digestive system is functioning correctly, and you drink a lot of water, it will flush out the garbage. And uh, over a few days, then you, you should uh, actually have better results than you would if you didn't have a detox at the very beginning. Um, but it is just simply an indication that the body is starting the, this repair and replace process over large areas inside the body and throwing out the garbage. Thank you, thank you. And with um, regards to the amounts of water that we drink, I suppose it is all relative to every body. Um, and um, some people also, they think they drink a lot of water and they actually drink a liter of water. Other people will drink, I think the standard for most people seems to be that they drink a lot of water is two liter a day. Um, and then, Going back to the every body, being whether you're a 10 year old or a 60 or 40, you might be skinny, you might be quite a big person, um, you may be an athlete or you may just be sitting at the office all day. So what is a good amount of water to drink when you start on a SEA? I say about eight to 10 um, glasses of water, that's easy to monitor. So if you have two glasses with your breakfast in the morning, uh, and a glass maybe in the mid-morning and then a few glasses at lunch and then a glass at night um, or a few glasses of dinner and then a glass at night, you're, you're fine. Um, you know, uh, that's an easy way for me to, to monitor it because it's a step-by-step. -step. You just take water, um, the glasses of water during the day, eight to ten glasses. Thank awesome. you. And would that be the same when you start to see you? And um, as, as well as when you just continue and everything's just um, all the way through. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, a uh, good source of fresh water is a boon, boon no matter what. So getting in the habit of doing that um, is probably the, one of the best things that you can do for your, for your body, along with taking good nutrition like the vitamins and, and minerals that, um, that good foods provide or supplements provide. Thank you. It leads me to my next question. Um, what do you believe is the long, in your opinion, the long-term benefit of anyone drinking a SEA, using the Renew 28, and taking a SEA via source every day? Okay, wow. Uh, have you seen uh, Maria Hopwood's pictures? <laughs> <laughs> she posted her pictures on there. Uh, I think they kind of tell the, the story very well. When the body is potentiated to repair and replace damaged tissue, what you'll start to see is the body will start putting itself back together. Uh, meaning, for example, in my case, uh, I used to be able to run long distances. I loved to run track, what they call cross country in the United States. And um, I was not able to do that after about 45, you know, at 47, uh, I, it just hurt too much. After I started taking a SIA, I noticed that I was able to do the uh, run long distances again and do it over and over again. And my recovery was very short. So you're starting to see that these damaged cells, which are evidenced by the pain that you feel in your muscles, were able to repair and replace themselves very quickly. Um, I've also, you know, my hair is, is coming uh, back more, more dark and um, is growing very quickly. Nails grow very quickly. Um, 
other other indications that, that are showing that the the cellular terminal from repair and replace is is is, is um, taking place in my body. And what we expect to see then is that um, we will uh, avoid some of the symptoms of aging. Uh, we will when our body, when all of our cells are able to function at this level, repair and replace themselves correctly, uh, we feel good. And, and that's, um, that's one of the things that ASEA has allowed me to do and uh, many, many people across the, the world at this point. Some people really need to feel good. And in, in this, they have some damaged cells and they have problems where they, they really need this um, in order to be able to accelerate their body's natural process. Thank you. Thank you. Must be my turn. Um, hi, uh, Dr. Gary Samuelson. It's a, it's a real honor and a pleasure to see you again. Every time I see you, my heart just uh, swells and I feel really humbled and honored to, to be uh, having this opportunity to chat with you again. Um, the question I have is, um, given that you're one of the very few people on the planet who really understands the in-depth workings of redox signaling molecules, um, could you have some advice for the everyday mums and dads who truly in their heart want to build a business by helping people with a SEER, but they, you know, we want to keep it simple, <laughs> but in such a way that people would listen to them and whatever they say is believable. So it's... Um, I think that's the question that's a lot of people are asking, how can I do that? And I'm not really that well versed in all this sort of thing. Well, uh, Sap, I'm a scientist. I love the science, but the science is not the thing that will convince people that this product works and it's good for you. Your own personal testimony, your own personal conviction, the, the things that you have witnessed and experienced are going to be probably the, your greatest tools. Um, they certainly, they certainly were mine. Uh, when the genetic uh, testing came out, and I was able to see some of the um, results, evidence, I should say, of things that we had suspected all along that were, were taking inside of our body, and and uh, then Asia was able to come out with this new bottle, and the new bottle on the back then then has uh, pretty much a, a list, a fairly good list. Of, of the basic things in, in general language that ASEA, the science of ASEA has shown to do, that, that the ASEA does rather. And so I, you know, I, would, I would suggest that you don't get too much into the science. Um, you know, there will be scientists and doctors, including myself, that um, have such a, that want to be able to help you understand the science if that is your, if that's what you really need to know. But for moms and dads, what they would want to know is, well, will this product work? Now, I can, I can uh, guarantee 100% that this product will work in, in every case for, for everyone. Um, you know, it may cause, it cause detox effects. You may have to reduce the amount uh, to let your body kind of slowly, um, you know, regenerate at, at times, but it, it's working. And so, uh, you know, it says, what is a SIA? Well, it's a cell signaling supplement. <laughs> and what does it contain? It contains active redox signaling molecules. Um, okay, what do they do? They are cellular messengers, and they help the cells to communicate, repair and replace themselves. I think that that pretty much, uh, you know, the, the basic stuff that you'd, you'd need to be able to tell, uh, like mom and dad, at, especially if they're going to, you know, give it to their families and their children and um, be able to convince or, or motivate other people also to, to start using ASEA. Thanks, Gary. That's, that's clear. <laughs> um, this next thing I want to share is not really a question specifically, but it's, it's just a statement of gratitude. And then uh, we'll continue on. But it's uh, something I, I feel really important that want to express and the rest of the world would, uh, I'm sure would agree. But when we met in 2015 at the global convention, um, I traveled across the world uh, to thank you for your contribution to humanity. And uh, to this day, I mean, you know, <laughs> eternally grateful. Um, I'm inspired by your wisdom that you've released into this genius of this creation. And it's um, still to this day, I no longer have a broken neck, um, which I'm really grateful for. And a lot of other things, 
Um, again, I just want to wish, uh, say to you, Gary, that um, I truly believe that you deserve to be recognised for a, a Nobel Peace Prize. You know, one man can make a difference and the, the collective expression of your dream as a little boy um, and to the world is to be a better place. And you, by showing up and following your dream in your heart, um, you've certainly, you are making that impact. You have made that impact. And I just want to uh, bless you and your family, your service to humanity. We are eternally grateful, so. Well, thank you. Thank you, Seb. Um, the effects that this has had on people's lives is my Nobel Prize. I couldn't ask for anything more. So uh, whether or not I receive recognition for this, uh, it doesn't matter. I know, I know what's happening. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate you. Seb and Jessica, thank you so very much uh, for your questions, your time, and uh, the work that you're doing to share this fabulous concept to uh, the world. That was just a beautiful thing, Seb. Um, Seb, and I think all across, everybody is listening, and those that are not listening, that will eventually watch this, will feel exactly the same way. I've been for one. So we're now going to introduce the next guest, uh, and that is Steve and Sarah Aquilina, and they are ASEA Platinum executives in the business. Stevie brings to ASEA a wealth of experience in the area of executive sales management, from the corporate world, which combined with Sarah's science background and a deep understanding of biochemistry and pathology make them a formidable couple. Steve and Sarah were introduced to ASEA by Daniel Doyle, our own ambassador diamond, while looking for answers to their own and loved ones' major health issues. Stevie was also intrigued by the human performance potential that redox molecules offered. Sarah and Stevie, have created a lifetime foundation in ASEA by reaching out and touching hundreds and hundreds of lives. Their passion is to be a force for good in the world and to share the message of ASEA across the entire world. Thank you, Stephen and Sarah, for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with us and, and um, for actually helping me out with, this, um, with the technology of this fabulous platform. So please go ahead, um, the floor is yours. Uh, it is totally our honor Maria, thank you so much for uh, putting this all together. And, and Dr. Gary Samuelson, thank you so much for being here. Seb, thank you. And Jessica, thank you very much. How do I follow up that last comment okay. you made? <laughs> um, you know, we want to echo everything that, that, that Seb uh, said, Dr. Samuelson. You uh, have um, allowed us to see miracles occur. Uh, you have allowed us to have our lives change because you've allowed us to change the lives of others. You've allowed our lives to become better because you've allowed us to better the lives of others. And uh, you've allowed our life to be filled with more good because uh, you created a opportunity for everyone to go on a mission to be a force for good in the world with the great work that you've done. So we are very, very grateful for you. Uh, and thank you for the time. On that note, I'll, I'll jump straight into some questions here for you, if you don't mind. Um, you mentioned before about people with uh, breathing uh, difficulties uh, with the lungs and you said, uh, you know, drinking is going to help, uh, being able to inhale it and get it onto the, the lungs is going to help. Could you uh, perhaps describe some of the methods that people are using to be able to inhale it, uh, to get it directly to their lungs? Uh, yes, I mean, it's fairly simple. If you just have a spray bottle, you can spray it in the little droplets, uh, breathe in the droplets. Uh, very, very simple, you know, um, spray, breathe, spray, inhale, spray, inhale, that, that, that works. Um, however, uh, in some instances, it, you might want to get what they call a nebulizer. A nebulizer has a little atomizer in there and an air pump that uh, atomizes into small um, particles, the ASEA, in a kind of a cloud and it has a little mask and you breathe in then the um, vapor uh, into your lungs. Usually uh, 20 milliliters, a very small amount, can last for maybe 15, 20 minutes of, of this type of activity. And um, we have, uh, not published, but uh, we have more than five years of uh, studies that have been done uh, on lung health. And um, so we know that uh, the exposure of the lungs to the ASEA is absolutely um, safe. 
we don't we don't have any problem with that but we've also seen that regeneration as a CIA does naturally to, uh, to damage tissue in the lungs is very very effective uh, CIA is also antimicrobial so um, it, it kills all of the pathogens that we are well I shouldn't say pathogens all of the bacteria and microbes that we um, have tested it against uh, in under 30 seconds so so that that's another action that a, a CIA can have um, in our body besides stimulating the regeneration um, and uh, in all of these tests uh, there was no irritation, there was no inflammation, there was no negative effects ever experienced. Uh, perfectly safe and, and a fairly good um, and efficient results. Fantastic, thank you very much. So you, usually, usually in a, a marriage, the wife gets the final word, but what I'm gonna do is give her the second question and then I've deliberately allowed myself to come back and ask some more questions. So just one time I can get the final words. So this is Sarah. <laughs> Hello everybody. Thank you again. Um, I belong to a lot of mums groups. So my question is directed to pregnancy and infants. Um, can you explain briefly the best way to use the products under the following conditions? Um, the first one is, is taking a SEA when pregnant, even in the first trimester stage? Okay, well, um, you know, uh, Sarah, uh, we've never tested uh, safety on, on pregnant women. Okay. So the, the official response, of course, is um, we don't know. Okay. Uh, um, and, and, I, and then I can't uh, say scientifically, you know, one way or the other on, on that. However, since ASEA contains the same exact molecules that are produced naturally by all of our cells in, our, in all of our interstitial fluids and et cetera. Uh, we don't expect that putting more of them in is going to be harmful in any way to, to the mo to mother or, or child. And, um, and many, many people, even though I have said we don't have evidence you know, that it's safe, have done it anyway. <laughs> And, and uh, they have reported back and they've said everything has done well. In fact, sometimes when they have expected a difficult uh, pregnancy, they have had a better pregnancy. All of this is hearsay, you know, scientifically not provable. Um, so my, my advice is basically to, basically to follow your heart. I'm not gonna say yes or no on, uh, on this issue. Uh, but I do know that once the child is born, uh, ASEA is perfectly safe also for children, for small children and babies, and for lactating mothers, and, and that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I was committed. Well, you've just answered my two follow-up questions with that. Um, thank you for that. So can I just ask another question? Um, when taking a SEA, when giving a SEA to children who have health issues, how much would you recommend starting them on? Is it the same amount as adults? Uh, I would, uh, it depends on the size or age of the children. Uh, very small children under the age of two, or if they're taking that, I would just say, say that to want to supplement maybe in their baby bottle, you can put a little bit in a, in a preferably a, a glass, very clean baby bottle uh, with nothing else mixed in. Uh, for children that are two and two and up, two to two to seven or so, uh, two ounces may be a little bit uh, much. One ounce twice a day is fine. Once a child is past about the age of eight or nine, uh, then the regular adult uh, two ounces twice a day is, is fine also. Um, now these are just general guidelines. Since, since we haven't seen any contraindications or problems uh, with young children. Um, Basically, this is just a simple guideline. Back to you. you sorry. Oh, thank you so much. Back to you. Uh, I love this. I have the opportunity to be able to mute my wife. <laughs> um, so, uh, Dr. Samuelson, um, when uh, when cells become rogue, when they become uh, abnormal, uh, and they're dividing and multiplying and and damaging uh, tissue. 
Um, are there links between the body uh, being deficient in these redox molecules that we're learning about and, and that type of situation occurring in the body? And um, if so, um, if the body was able to introduce more redox molecules into the body, how could that affect that situation? And is there anything else that um, could help the body through that um, situation? Very good. In 99.999% of the rogue cells in your body, the mitochondria have shut down. They don't function. They do not produce the redox signaling molecules. If they were able to produce the redox signaling molecules that normally are produced by healthy normal cells, then the cells would be able to detect, repair, and replace those cells before any, before any problems, before they divide. And that's very important because the detection of a damaged cell uh, and, and also uh, getting rid or eliminating damaged cells prevents it from dividing into two damaged cells, and four, and eight, et cetera. This is, this is uh, the same detection process uh, as is in normal healthy cells. Except in these rogue cells, the, there are no detection mechanisms available so that uh, the body doesn't, it, the, the cell phones don't work. <laughs> you know, they're not able to uh, say that something's wrong or to repair or replace themselves. So they become immortal. And when they became immortal and un, unable to repair themselves, then, then there is a problem. So in replacing these redox signaling molecules that uh, enact these repair and replace uh, mechanisms inside of our body, there's a better chance that detection will take place of these, of these damaged cells, as, as is normal. Uh, also, better, that, better chance that the repair and replacement uh, mechanisms will, will it be enacted. So uh, and we're talking general because in, in healthy, normal human beings, these things are taking place all the time. Our mitochondria are becoming damaged. Our DNA is becoming mutated. There are all sorts of things happening in the damaged cells. And if we're able to, if the body's able to catch them and repair and replace them fast enough, we do not have rogue cells. And, and so that's a, that's a, a great benefit for um, this type of technology. So in that that type of, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And, and in that type of situation, uh, the, um, you know, it's very time sensitive in regards to, you know, I suppose someone being able to, you know, uh, get more of these molecules, uh, you know, back into their bodies. Uh, is there anything else you can suggest to help these people, uh, you know, speed up that healing process, um, you know, or, or any, any tips you have around being able to correct that situation? Oh, absolutely. In, in, fa in fact, Stevie, the, um, the keys to be able to help correct any situation, not, not just, you know, uh, a condition where, where you need to very quickly repair and replace tissue, but any situation requires a, a few things. It requires good nutrition. You need to have those 30 micronutrients in your body that are the building blocks for your cells or the houses that can, the, of the communities, you know. If you don't have the building blocks, they can't build correctly the cells. Uh, let me give you an example, folate. Folate is, is one of the micronutrients. It helps build DNA. If you don't have folate in your system, DNA will not be able to be constructed correctly and you may get mutations in your DNA. Uh, and here in the United States, 10% uh, of the people are seriously deficient in folate to the point where uh, they are receiving DNA damage to the equivalent of having a nuclear disaster in their backyard. Um, I mean, th this, type, this type of nutrition is absolutely important. So the nutritional aspects are very important. Sleep, exercise is also necessary for the body to be able to repair and replace the damaged cells. Uh, water, we've talked a little bit about that, Drink, drinking plenty of water and letting the workers do their job efficiently. That's what a C is all about. So if you have all of those elements in, in your body working simultaneously, good nutrition, sleep, exercise, 
uh, the redox signaling uh, going on inside there, uh, the cells have much better probability of, of maintaining uh, their healthy cells. And, and that's true in any condition whatso whatsoever. Uh, you want to maximize the probability that your body can take care of this, these situations. And believe me, the body is the only thing that has the power to do that. You need to believe that. <clears throat> Fantastic. Thank you. Um, that, that answers so many questions. Uh, you know, it leads me to one, you know, one other question. When, um, say, someone has uh, you know, empowered themselves to, uh, to heal again, um, and they think, I'm okay now. Uh, I don't need to you know, uh, take these molecules. Uh, what will happen to someone if they, if they stop using? Is it important for them to, to, to keep using these molecules? Uh, I would say absolutely yes. Um, you're, you're, you're the repair and replacement mechanisms in your body, as we've talked about in almost ad nauseum today, um, are necessary for all aspects of life. Um, and so as we age, it, it's, they slow down. If, if you stop doing that, then, then uh, the, um, you would expect to slow down a little bit, slow those processes down. Well, the question is, well, do you really want to do that? If, if you have access to the technology, you know, would you really want to do that? It's almost like being malnourished. You know, would you like to malnourish yourself? So you, when you learn these principles, when you learn these principles, all of a sudden you have in your side, in your hand the keys to to be able to um, to generate health, and that's that's exactly what what we should do or think about. Uh, I don't think, uh, you know, if you really knew what you were doing, you'd stop taking it. <laughs> um, you know, it's all right for a little while. That's fine. If you're if you're getting sick or you need to slow down, that's fine too. But uh, as I've learned, consistency is actually a, a key also in this. Con taking uh, this consistently, no matter if you're taking small amounts or large amounts. Fantastic. And look, if I may just ask you one more question, I know I've hugged you for a little bit. <laughs> um, but in, you know, with, with all of your knowledge uh, and wisdom and, and in um, uh, you know, all of the uh, work that you've done and all the things that you've, you've seen, uh, and studies, um, just where do you see this going? I mean, we've heard the media say this is going to shape our lives in the coming years. What what does that mean? What 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 kind of future could you uh, perhaps predict with this type of new breakthrough? I have to tell you that in in my short career uh, as a physicist, it, this has been very very surprising. This has actually happened to me as an act of providence, I feel. There, there, is, a, there is a higher meaning to this. And um, I believe that on this earth, we have the technologies and the knowledge that we can, that we can utilize to combat or heal most of the problems, the health problems that we have in the world. What do we need to do in order to do so? The problem is not knowledge, it's not technology. The, the problem is, uh, is, is, is social. Why do we not feed the world when we have a capacity to do so when millions are suffering? Why do we not do that? And, and the, uh, so, so really, I think and I hope that as we start realizing that there is an option, there are options available to us for, for our problems, that, that we, will, we will realize, just like these cell phones, that they work. <laughs> Once people realize that they work, there is nothing that's gonna stop these things from getting all over the world. Um, you know, uh, and the market will carry it. And I don't care if the biggest computer companies tell you, you know, you're, you're full of it. <laughs> if, um, <laughs> if you have something that works and that, that will do the job and people know that they have the option to have this in their hand, it will happen.
So what I, what I see is not only the, this technology, the redox signaling technology filling the world, but I see also the other technologies that we have been developed over the last 300 years in medical sciences, including the, the mental effect, positive mental attitudes and such, will be introduced and we will have much better chance then of alleviating the suffering all throughout the world. And that, that is really, uh, you know, a wonderful thing to see. I hope that I live long enough <laughs> to be able to see that. Uh, th thank you, thank you, Dr. Samuelson. With uh, you know, you 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 have um, uh, you know you you've truly bettered uh, our lives, uh, everyone's lives. So we're very very grateful for you. Thank you for the valuable time you've given us today, and Maria, thank you for allowing us to steal some of that valuable time. Thank you. I love you guys. Thank you. Well, thank, thanks, Stevie, for your um, setting this up too on the internet in your area. Thanks. <laughs> well, um, before we are, I go ahead, I just want to let everybody know I have now placed a whole lot of uh, websites in the chat box. So please cut and paste. Hopefully that answers all your questions. Once again, there'll be no lines open for further questions to Dr. Samuelson. Um, if you have any issues or you want more questions or you're on a quest, please visit the websites that ASEA provides. And if you're an associate, again, please go to your back office. And also Jeannie has got a wealth of information. Dr. Samuelson. Words are not enough to say thank you <laughs> for your time and knowledge, for what you've done for us for the world, not just for me, for the ones that are here listening, but for the world, and, and you're right. As soon as the world finds out what it actually does, us, as humans, as people, will carry this across, and we'll do that in your name, in everybody else's name, because you're right. It's been a gift. Without you, none of this would have been possible, and I, on behalf of everybody that's listening, I thank you from the bottom of our heart. And if I may, Seb and Jessica, perhaps echo part of your statement once again. We, we all, wish to say to you, Dr. Gary Samuelson, you truly deserve to be recognized for a Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize. One man can make a difference. And we are the collective expression of your dream as a young boy and the world is a better place for you showing up and following your dream and your heart. Thank you so very much. Blessings to you and your family and your work and your service to humanity. In saying all that, I also am aware that of course behind a fabulous man like yourself, there's always an amazing woman. Aris, Aris Samuelson, I know you're there. I would like to say thank you for your support, your vision and your passion for humanity and for supporting and being part of this, uh, Dr. Samuelson's journey. I'd also like to say and express my sincere thanks and gratitude to Asia Diamond Executive Seven Jessica for coming on board and helping out and making this a little bit more interesting. To Asia Executive Platinum, Stephen Sarah, and their teams, all of your teams, for your collaboration to making this webinar possible. Finally, to end, Asia and Renew are not intended to diagnose, treat or cure or prevent any disease or medical condition. This webinar will be posted on Dr. Samuelson's blog in the next few days. If you wish to go to that, it's www.drgarysamuelson.com, it's in the chat. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much to you all for your time, your heart, your mission and your love. Let's do this again sometime soon. Thank you, Dr. Samuelson, appreciate your time. Well, thanks, Maria. It's a privilege. It is ours. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>